give you some instructions in this video about how to do that. Here are the materials that I used to string my Silver Lyre replica. I used a gut type harp string, I used a wooden tuning peg, some simple twine, and I used some cotton cloth. This is muslin, it's an inch wide, and then I folded it in half. Let's start with the harp string. This is gut, so you have to be careful with it. Whenever you bend it, it really stays. It has great um, shape memory. So what I do is I find the bottom inch or two of the gut, and then I fold it in half right down here, and then I twist it twice, just like that. Now I'm going to take you over to the lyre. Okay, I have my gut harp string twisted a couple of times and it has this loop. I'll put the loop through the top of the anchor bar and over, up and over, and hold it here. Hold it twisted, and then I'm going to take the other end of the string. Your string probably won't be bent like mine. Your string will probably be new, and then you put it behind the loop and through it. And then you pull it tight, and it should stay. The next step is attaching the end of the string to the end of the cloth. What I do is I make a simple knot at the end of the string. Just like that. And then I feed the cloth through it. Just a little, just a little of the cloth. And then I pull the string tight. The next step is I tie the other end of the cloth to the twine. I just do a simple knot with the twine once, twice, three times. So to review, we have one end of the harp gut string attached to the anchor bar. We have the other end of the gut, gut harp string attached to one end of the cloth strip. We have the other end of the cloth strip connected to the twine. Now let's attach the whole string to the lyre with the tuning peg. Okay, now comes the tricky part but the most exciting. So I go over, up and over the crossbar. All right. So I tuck the end of the cotton under itself and I wrap it as tightly as I possibly can. Now this cotton will act as a bearing. So you want it to be tight. So it'll stay on really well, but not so tight where you can't turn it. So pretty much as tight as you can get it. It should work just fine. See my twine's coming with me and I have to undo it. Okay, I'm going to hold that there while I undo the twine. I need the twine so for something else. Okay. Now the twine's time to shine. So, put the tuning peg here and then I go over the bottom, then behind the, the crossbar and then over the top. We'll do that again. Over the bottom, over the top, two times. Then I'm gonna make an X. So I go diagonal from here to here among the back and I keep this as tight as I can. Tight 
tight as I can. Until I run out of twine. Alright, and I'm going to tie it. See, I have a little knot here from where I had tied it before. I think I'm going to have to tie it. Now I have a bearing and a handle. It's really handy. This is how you can tune your lyre. Now, have the harp string always on the cotton or the tuning peg. Don't let it touch the um, crossbar more than once or else it will be really hard to turn and tune it. So just like the twine, I go over, um, I go from one diagonal to the next. This way, this is just using up the extra string that I have. The strings will stretch just the way strings are. And here we go. Tune string. So if you have any questions, please post. I am happy to answer any questions you might have. Have fun with your new Silver Lyre replica, everybody.